Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Angel Tarot. Thank you for tuning in again. My name is Mimi, if you don't know. Um, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, I hope everybody is feeling real good today. I'm about to get y'all a little reading there before I go get my little workout on. Um, thank you to all of my subscribers, <clears throat> my new subscribers, all of the likes, the comments. I just really do appreciate you guys for all of the support. So, um... If y'all know I got bad sinuses in the morning, so I got my tissue, I got my water, I already took my medicine, so hopefully it kick in soon. But um, so if y'all don't know, I've been trying to like switch the way we play with the decks. So we're gonna start with the Oracle deck first to get the overall message of the reading, and then we're gonna go into the tarot deck, and then we're gonna get some moonology advice cards. So we're going to do a free for all reading. You should also know um, if you've been here since the beginning, beginning. These free for all readings can get ratchet. Anything can happen in these free for all readings. So we're just going to go with the flow and see what spirit want us to know. Period. What's our messages? Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. Hold up. Let me clear the energy. That is so funny because, like, when you hit this motherfucker, it really clears the energy. Like, you feel so different. As soon as that vibration is done, imagine imagine someone may be doing a lot of daydreaming someone may be in their imagination a lot someone is dreaming someone is holding on to their vision with this imagine card we have mending mending so someone is holding on to a dream of mending a relationship with somebody. Maybe somebody want to come back in your life. Here and now. Yeah, so someone's like got stuck in the fork with a road. They're stuck in their head, daydreaming about mending a relationship with you. Or you're stuck in your head about mending a relationship with somebody, and this will determine whether or not you're going backwards or forward. Let me get one more Oracle card. I normally only get three, but the way these motherfuckers popping out, let me see if we can get one more message. Oh shit, we got three more. Loyal heart, flexible, soulmates. Loyal heart and soulmates is like twin flames. So I feel like you or your soulmate is daydreaming about mending a relationship with you. And this determines if you're gonna go backwards stay right here in the present or move forward. So this relationship, this soulmate relationship, it matters to you. It matters to your person. You both hold each other close to your heart with this loyal heart card. But that's definitely a twin flame card. This is beautiful. So it appears that we have Twin flames mending their relationship. Your twin flame want to come back. Let 
your twin flame gonna come back and say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just switched that song up real quick, right? I'm sorry, I am sorry. <laughs> so what's gonna happen? I'm trying to get in the habit of shuffling these cards before I get on camera, but I like for y'all to see me shuffle them so y'all can know it's real. You feel know I me? Mean? Cause motherfuckers be on this motherfucking pump fake. You're trying to run me up. I'm picking up. Headed to the club. I'm thinking about you. But clearly, they are thinking about you. The devil. I feel like your twin flame may be in a karmic cycle, a karmic connection with a karmic energy. And this is, he's going through hell right now. He's going through a lot of hell. That's why he can only imagine about mending you guys' relationship. Two of Swords. This Two of Swords is just like the here and now. You have two different choices. So your person is in his head about maybe staying with this karmic or moving towards the future and mending this relationship with you. Now, even though this person is in his head about where to go, how to do it, who to be with, we clearly know who the hell he want to be with because we have nothing but divine beings on my channel. If we have any karmics out there, I'm pretty 100% sure you know you're a karmic. So, yeah, your person is in a karmic cycle with the karmic devil energy. And he's in his head about coming towards you to mend this relationship. Knight of Cups. So this Knight of Cups is on this horse. The Knight is in and out fast energy. So I feel like your person wants to come in very fast and share with you the emotions that they have for you. And clearly, this person is in love with you. This person is head over heels for you with the King of Cups coming out right after the Knight of Cups. This person wants to come show you how much he loves you, and this person is in love. He's aware of his emotions for you. Six of Pentacles. So your person may have been giving more to this karmic person and less to you. He no longer wants to do that. He wants to um, switch it up and give you more than what he was giving to that other person. But if that person, if your person not letting go of that karmic, tell him you don't want shit because you don't want nothing that's tied in with no fucking karmic energy. Do not come my way with that karmic ass energy. Cause you can stay your ass over there. We don't want that shit, you feel me? Eight of Wands. He coming in fast. He is coming after you. This person being thinking too much about this. He knows exactly what it is that he wants. He knows that you have a loyal heart. You know that you're very flexible. Um, you will accept him for who he is. You are love, you are an unconditional lover. And he knows that you're his soulmate. So he's coming in very fast. This person is coming in fast at you. And this came in right underneath the Knight of Cups. And then we got the Page of Cups underneath the, the King of Cups. Once he come in and sh tell you and show you how much he care about you, he's going to give you an apology. He's going to give you an apology. That's crazy because in the beginning, I am sorry. 
I'm sorry, I am sorry. That's what your person gonna be singing. I'm sorry, I am sorry. <laughs> this person apologizes for whatever it is that you have went through, whatever it is that you put up with in this situation. And this person wants to come show you how much he loves you. He's in love with you. He's coming at you fast and he's apologizing. Ace of Pentacles. He feels like that you are his blessing. He feels like that you were made on this earth. God placed you here specifically for him. You are a blessing. You are a blessing to this person and it would mean the world to him if you accepted his apology, accepted his love, accept his love offer. I mean, shit, the fucking star card. This this card was just on the bottom of the deck. This person feels like you're his star. You are his blessing. You may be a celebrity. You may be on your way to being a celebrity and your person want to be a part of that. Look, this is Moonology. This reading went by pretty fast. It was straightforward as fuck. It's a lot of love here. All of these cups are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you may be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or you may have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio prominent in your chart. And we also have Capricorn and Aquarius. We have Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a beautiful, straightforward reading. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Looking at my watch, she should have been home. Today, I regret the night I put that ring on. Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. We got all this love. We got all this love. My collective have a lot of love. What's that Monica song she said? Uh, I got love all over me. Surrender to the motherfucking divine. I don't know who needs to hear this, but surrender to the divine. That's, that's first. If you don't surrender to the divine, you might as well leave earth and come back and start over again. <laughs> surrender to the divine. Allow the universe to pull you into any direction that you need to be pulled into. Me personally, I am very surrendered to the divine. I believe in my God. I believe in my universe. I believe that when the time comes, I will know which way to go. That's how I'm doing these readings, because I follow my intuition. That's important. Surrender to the divine. Show the world the real you. You won't know the real you unless you surrender to the divine. So that go hand in hand. Your person needs to surrender to the divine and be real with themselves. A time to give rather than take. So your person needs to give more love to you rather than taking it from you because your person knows for a fact that you have a loyal heart and you are their soulmate. And you have always given this person love and nourishment. That's why this person believes that you are his blessing. So when your person come back with all of this love and all these apologies, Maybe even bringing you gifts. He's going to be giving to you rather than taking from you. Communication is key on the bottom of the deck. So this was a pretty good reading. Um, I'm about to go get my sweat on. I'll be back later. We're going to try to stick to like five videos a day. We're going to do five videos a day. That's the minimum. So this is number one. I'll be back as soon as I get done with my workout. I promise. Bye.